Shalom to everybody just tuning in to another episode, another broadcast of Did You Know? All right. So come in. Don't forget when you get in to uh, push the like button, subscribe, share. All right. So, yeah, man. Uh, bless you all. In the name of the Most High, Ahaya, Bashem, Yeshaya, Warawak. All right. Tonight, it's going to be a short one tonight. You read me, read a short. Um, but some point in information nonetheless. Also, remember the new academy is coming up. So, if you get a chance, go and join it. We also streaming live also via um, Instagram, GOCC144. Go and uh, you can share it and, and all that. Have a couple of things coming, 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 coming through the pipeline that you'll be updated on very soon. All right. So, welcome in the Spread the Word. We're live for another episode of Did You Know? All right. Tonight we're going into Islam. I've got with me here a Quran and um and drop some information to you. You know how um whenever you deal with Muslims or whenever you if you if, if you have encountered this, if you've been in the truth long enough, you probably have encountered people saying that Paul was a naysayer and Paul you know was a was a pagan that pagan that introduced paganism to Christianity. Basically, Muslims hate Paul. All right. Now check this out. I have a, a particular verse within the within the Quran, within um within the the, the book Surah 36, which is called Yasin and Ayat 13 to 17. All right. And I'm gonna read I'm gonna read it here, but then I'm also gonna give you some more information on it. All right. Like I said, it's gonna be very quick, very, very simple. And I mean, I mean Surah 36, um, which is Yasin, and I'm going to read Ayat 13 and down, all right? You're probably like, yo, why is he going there? But you'll see. It says, coin from, the, coin from them a similitude, the people of the city, when those sent from Allah came to them. So basically, it's talking about messengers, messengers of Allah coming into the city. Yo, you're going to be shocked when you find out what city this is. It says, when we sent um, to them two, and they denied them both, and we reinforced them with a third, and they said, "We have been we have been sent to you." Uh, Fifteen says, "They said you are only mortals like us. The, the beneficent has nothing revealed. You only lie." They answered, "Our Lord knows that we are indeed sent to you." Seventeen, and our duty is only plain conveyance our message. Now, check this out. That's just in that, like you know, the regular old or Quran here that you can pick up, right? But there's actually an interpretation to this, to this particular verse. Check this out now. If you go on to the interpretation of the meaning of the Noble Quran in the English language, summaries in volume one, you can get, you probably can find it online, right? There, there was a debate or a discussion going on here about who were the messengers that were sent and where. Now, I'm gonna be quoting from a, a, uh, a 12th, 12th century, a 12th century Islamic scholar by the name of Ishmael ibn Kaftir, or Tafsir uh, ibn Kaftir, whichever whichever name you 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 look up. All right, and you can see, I'll spell it for you. Tafsir is T A F S I R ibn I B N Kaftir, K A T H I R, or Ishmael Kaftir. All right, and he was born about 1300 and died about 1373. Okay. Now, when you when you Google him, I'll read something here for you on him on on on, on, um, on Wiki. It says it says um, Ishmael ibn Kaftir, born seventeen, born, sorry, excuse me, born thirteen hundred to thirteen seventy three, was a highly influential historian, exegete, and scholar during the Muluk era in Syria, an expert on tafsir, which is Quranic exegesis. Okay. He wrote several books, including the 14th volume Universal History. So he was an expert in the Quran exegesis. And you know what that means to interpret, right? So when we go on his interpretation of, 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 um, of Surah 3613, it reads as such. And you're going to you, listen to this. Check this out. It says, As similar to the dwellers of the town, when there came messengers to them, in the reports that they transmitted from the Ibn's, from Ibn's Abbas, Ka'ab al Kabul Abir, and Wahab ibn uh, Muhabin, forgive me if I'm butchering these names, Ibn 
Ibn uh, Shaikh reports that it was the city of Antioch. So the, 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 the Muslim scholars or the Islamic scholars or Quranic scholars, whichever you want to put it, said that this city was Antioch. Now we know what went on at Antioch, right? Check this. In which three was a king called Antiochus and his son Antiochus, the son of Antiochus, who used to worship idols. Allah sent to him three messengers whose names were Sadiq, Saduk, and Shalom, and he believed in them. It was also narrated by Barayad Yad bin al Abu, excuse me, like I said, I'm butchering these names, right? That it was Antioch. So there were more scholars that said it was Antioch. Some of the Imams were not sure that it was Antioch, as we shall see below after telling the rest of the story. Okay? So let's go into, um, into, into it. It says here, it says, we, when we sent to them two messengers, they denied them both. Means they hastened to disbelieve in them. So we, in, we reinforced them with a third. We supported and strengthened them with a third messenger. All right. So this is another Ibn Jure narrated from Wahab bin uh, Suleiman from Su Abi al Jabi. The names of the two messengers were Shamun and Yohanna, or Yohanna, how you pronounce it. And the third of, and the, and the name of the third was Bulos, and the city was. Antioch. So you're probably saying, no, what is he talking about? What, what, what are the significance with these names? Now, when you go into the book of Acts, the 13th chapter, it says that there was prophets and teachers, right? Known as Barnabas and Simeon that were called Niger. All right. Now, what the name Bulus is here, if you Google it or you check out Bulus in Arabic, it's the Apostle Paul. Bulus is Paul. All right, you can Google that and check that out. Paul. So according to Islam scholars, right, Paul was the, was the third messenger that was sent. So the, old, so the older scholars of Islam accepted Paul, accepted Paul's writings and, you know, you know, believed in Paul. They wrote up, you know, they said, Yo, listen, this is Paul. So can you, can, can, you, can, you, can you imagine right now you're dealing with Islam and they're telling you that Paul is authentic? And Paul was a, was, a, was a pagan and all of that. When the original scholars of Islam dealt with Paul. Did you know that? Check that out. And I mean, um, you, can, you can go back and watch the video again and reference all of this information. And it's out there. There's actually been debates on it. You with me? Where they are, they are, they are, they are trying to discredit that, you know, discredit these scholars now saying that, no, it wasn't Paul and all of that. And basically, it's because of a religion that's based on Muhammad, all right, and, and Antichrist, trying to go against the teachings of the Messiah, straight out and coming against the prophets and teachers who were called niggas or niggas, or however you want to put it, all right? So that's, you know, that's it really for today on Did, on Did You Know, all right? And I'll, and I'll, and I'll just reference the, the, um, the scholar I'm, 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 I'm reading from tonight, okay? It's Tasir Abin Kaf Kafir. Or Ishmael Kafir, all right, born 1300 to 1373. All right, did you know? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Um, check, you know, check, check your account because they are deleting accounts and they are unsubscribing people. So check it out. All right, and like I said, we are we also um the Hebrew Bible Academy coming up, there's a commercial on it. Big, big commercial, big up, big up the elders for that one, man. That one does look very nice, very professional. Good. So check that out, like it, share it, and get into the academy. I think we're on the 22nd of December. We're going to be there. So, you know, for more information like this on history and um, did you know, hey, join the academy and check it out. All right. That's about all the time we have this evening. Um, stay blessed. And may the most I keep you until we see you again. You know, most I will. A movement says, Elder, I need a location for Sabbath in Jamaica. I hope to be visiting soon. Bless Elder. Just send an email to um, Gary as one at AOL.com and they will send you the address for the Jamaica congregation. All right. All right. All right. See, nice shot. Keeping it, keeping it, keeping it under, under 10. All right. Family, blessed love.
Stay safe. May the most I protect you. Um, until we see you again. Shalom.